Hi guys, in this video I will explain the procedure to access WhatsApp using your PC or by using your laptop. And we will also see how to share image, audio, video and document files as well as those huge files having file size over the permissible transfer limit of WhatsApp. So let's get started. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Saptic TV to get videos on technological tips that can make your life simple and easy and hit the bell icon to get alerts whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. You can just search for WhatsApp for web and you will get the WhatsApp for web website. Just click on that. Now you will get a QR code over here. You are supposed to scan this QR code using the option available inside the WhatsApp. I'll open WhatsApp, then I'll tap on the three vertical dots at the upper right corner. Then I'll tap on the WhatsApp for web option. Then I'll tap on the plus sign at the upper right corner. Now you will get a screen using which you can scan the QR code. Now I'll position my phone against the QR code and I'll scan it. This is the interface of WhatsApp for web. On the upper left corner, you can see your profile pic. Below that, you can see the names of all your WhatsApp friends and the groups. Suppose if you want to send a post to one of your friend or to a group, all you have to do is just click over here and type the name. It is actually a search bar. For example, I'll type Sabir Geo. So that is displayed. Suppose if I want to send a file which can be an image, audio or a document file, all you have to do is just click on the clip icon at the upper right corner and you will get options like photos and videos, camera, uh, then document and you can send a contact. I'll click on photos and videos and I'll choose this particular photograph for example, I'll open and you can click on send. You can also click on the emoji symbol over here and you can select any desired emoji from here. I'll choose this emoji as well as this one. Sent. And that photograph is sent. Similarly, you can attach a video, file or you can open a camera. So it will ask you for the permission to open the camera. Then you can also send a document file which can be any document. I'll click on document and I'll choose a particular document. For example, I'll choose this drawing file. Okay, I can send that file as a document. I can also send a contact from my contact list. I'll choose for example this particular contact. Send. That contact number is sent. There is another method to send files when you use WhatsApp for web. Let's try that. I'll keep this interface slightly onto the right side on my desktop. And I can send files simply by dragging the files onto the WhatsApp for web interface. For example, I'll take this file to this particular contact. I'll take the cursor over here. Now you can see that the file size is 16.5 MP and I'll just drag it and drop it onto this interface. By clicking on the send icon, I can send that. And that 16.5 MB file is, is uploaded and these changes will get updated instantly in the WhatsApp in your smartphone. Next, I'm gonna send this particular file. I'll take the cursor onto this file and it is 146 MB and I'll just try to drag it and drop it onto this interface and when I try to send it, I'll get a message that one video you tried adding is larger than 64 MB limit. That means the size of a file that can be transferred through WhatsApp as a document is limited to 64 MB. So how will you transfer files which are larger than 64 MB through WhatsApp? For that, there is a procedure. I'll open a new tab and I'll type Google Drive and I'll click on My Drive. I'll open my Google Drive. You know what is Google Drive? Google Drive is a cloud memory storage which is given to you by Google. You will get around 15 GB space. My 15 GB is almost full. Now what I'll do is I'll just drag this file and keep it either directly on the Google Drive or I can keep it in a particular folder. I'm going to keep it in a folder. I'll keep it in the files folder. Now you can see that that file is being uploaded. And that is fully uploaded. 
Next, I'll open this folder. My file is over here. Just right click on this file and you can just click on get shareable link option. Then I'll go back to WhatsApp for web. Then I'll paste this link over here. Okay, then I'll give an enter. It will take few seconds to process this video. After that, if you click on this link, you will see that video getting opened and you can play Hello, this video here. To Saptic TV, a tech channel or on technological tips. And you can download that video from here by clicking on the download icon. If you click on the download icon, this video will get downloaded in your download folder. You can also do the same using a smartphone. It will get downloaded in the download folder of your smartphone. Actually, you are playing the file from the Google Drive and you are downloading it from the Google Drive. So using this method, you will be able to transfer files of any size using WhatsApp. Before you close this WhatsApp for web window, it is always safe to log out from your account for safety purpose. Let's try the same procedure using a smartphone. So I'll tap on the gallery and I'll choose a particular video with a larger file size and I'll upload it to Google Drive. I'll tap on the share option, then I'll select Google Drive. I'll change the file name from default file name to my video. Now it's uploading the video to the Google Drive. Now I'll tap on Google Drive and I'll search for my video file which I have uploaded just now. I'll tap on the three vertical dots at the upper right corner and you can see that the link sharing is turned off. Just tap on it to turn it on. Then tap on copy link option and copy the link address of this video file. Now I'll open WhatsApp, search for the required contact and paste the link onto that contact and tap on send. And when you tap on this link, you'll be asked to select a Google account. You can select an account, then you'll be able to play this video or you can download it using the download option in the menu obtained when you tap on the three vertical dots at the upper right corner. In the next video, I'll show you the procedure to use two WhatsApp account in your smartphone. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Saptic TV. Until I catch you in the next video, bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.